Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. So Solana wise, we are here in a situation where we can't really say if the wave one in yellow has already topped that we discussed in previous videos or if there will be one more high. This is uncertain. Um, I mean, personally, I wouldn't do anything here. Um, but for anybody who wants obviously to trade this, who's a bit, who likes to take, take risk, this is obviously an area for a possible wave four reversal in which I expected the price to get into and possibly to reverse out of to put the last wave five in. The thing is, we don't really know. It could also be that the wave four ended here and the wave five topped here. Yeah, that's how I had it until this morning, but I showed you both scenarios. It's, it's possible in both. I mean, we reached the target here. There's of course an extended target range I could put onto the chart for another wave five up. I mean, Sometimes you get these overshooting B waves, they make it so tricky. So for example, if we zoom in a little bit, as per the Elliott wave method, this could have just been an A wave down, an overshooting wave B and a C wave down. And now we're moving up in the fifth wave, but there is no clear evidence we are doing it because the move up currently looks a bit corrective and Bitcoin is currently moving and Solana isn't really. So it's a, it's a possible indication that we are not getting another high but it's way too early to say that. For me, it's like, you know, anybody who wants to trade it, or if I was trading this, you know, I can't really speak for you, but if I was to trade it and I wanted to trade it, I would open a small long position here, no leverage or anything, just spot, possibly put a stop loss below that area here. And that is by the way, the area based on the FIB retracements of the third wave. So we're looking here at the $15.20 level as the 50% retracement. If we get below that level, then um, then it's most likely not going to work out and we're going to come down probably already in the wave two. Yeah. So this is sort of where we are. And then what I would like to do, I would already like to formulate for you here, a support area for a possible wave two. Bear in mind at the moment, this could also be just an A wave up and the B wave down, but then either way, um, the wave three or C it's the same stuff basically can be traded obviously. So, if we look at this area, then we can formulate here a support area where the trade should turn around or the price should turn around when it gets into it. This area is sitting between the 50% retracement level of the move to the upside, assuming that we could have already a top in. What I want to say is if this support area, the small one breaks, then this one becomes live. And that's located between $10 and 1274. And then we have to say, if we drop below $10, we're most likely going to make a new low. I would at the present moment still expect another low for Solana, um, but it doesn't mean that we couldn't, that these are not all tradable patterns, right? So um, eventually this year could lead to a larger five wave move, which eventually <clears throat> would confirm to us that the low was already in. Or alternatively, this could become a larger ABC pattern, which would then break down and make a new low. So that's what we need to see what the market will show us. Um, I would at the moment still expect another low because on the daily, the daily trend hasn't changed yet. And we are still in the bear market. I mean, um, we can exit the bear market, but then the charts need to prove that to us, right? Otherwise, there have been so many fake lows in this bear market. Uh, we need to, we just need to be careful. So yeah, that's sort of where we are, right? And then in, again, in this support area, we've got the 78.6% retracement level, the 61.8 level and the 50%. The 50% sometimes, yeah, sometimes the wave two stops there at 1274, that would be. The 61.8 retracement is quite likely, that's at 1161. And the 78.6 retracement at $10 is really the last level. If we drop below that, in most cases, the wave two will not work out anymore. And just to give you an orientation, I can we can speculate a little bit, make some assumptions where the third wave or the C wave, depending on which high level pattern we're gonna get, would land because we would be looking at, I at the minimum, a $25.30 level for the third wave. Then we should get, in a more bullish case, a fourth wave and a fifth. Um, or we only get the ABC. That's why, technically speaking, you know, this could obviously be a long trade area with the idea to take at least partial profits at the end of the third wave. 
and then possibly looking at scaling in again at the wave four with the stop loss below the wave four support, which we're gonna define and to, you know, get out at the end of the, the fifth wave. This is sort of technically what, what someone could do here. But yeah, that's my update about Solana. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.